Big game season's over, and it is time to shoot ducks. That's how we do it. Beautiful bird. Morning guys. I promised you that we were gonna be out here with Ramsey Russell and here's the man himself. <laughs> man <Mia. laughs> I'm glad to be here, Todd. I am glad know, to have you, Ramsey. Y'all got a beautiful resource out here. Well, I'm sure. We we enjoy it and hopefully it cooperates. It's breeze got a nice breeze this morning, it's north wind. Um hopefully the ducks will move, but it's warm. Five degrees. I'll take it. Yeah, I got a, faith he, in you. That's what he was just saying. <laughs> I got faith in you. A duck, a duck hunters are optimistic. Yeah, I believe you. And I believe we're gonna shoot a duck. Yeah, I think so. I think it'll be good. There's some birds around, so let's go. Let's go down and get set up. Here, why throwing up? You here? All right, here's a pro tip for you. Always, and I mean always, carry a knife. You never know when you're gonna need it. Don't carry it in your bag. Carry it on your person. Had a decoy malfunction this morning. Texas rig came undone. This hole is not punched on this decoy. I can't get the Texas rig through it. And now, thank you to my knife. Always carry a knife on your person. You never know when you're going to need it. Don't carry it in your bag. Carry it on your person. No good when it's in your bag. Now this should work. Just gotta redo this Texas rig, get it in there. And it should work just fine now. Look at that. Without a knife, I couldn't do that. There you go. Crazy, crazy thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. He's coming kind of like a widget. Come back. Oh, look up top, look up top. <laughs> I got birds all over. Twenty-eight gauge, baby. That's the way we started. Right here. Right here. 
Good looking bird. Good looking bird. <laughs> Hold still. Killer. Look at that. Yeah. Well, it is banded. That's pretty cool. <laughs> they did it nice. Right in the they decoys. Did it perfectly. Right in the decoys. <laughs> we got 41 species of waterfowl. The entire season is predicated on mallards, which have polluted chimp right. And it, the hen mallard is a stigmatized. 41 species, and that's the one you don't shoot here. I know. How do, I wish somebody could explain the science of that. It's a, because in Canada, I don't know. Eight ducks is eight ducks. Is it really? Yeah. I, they, they, you know, and, and, and in uh, other countries around the world, eight ducks is eight ducks. What are we accomplishing with two hen mallards? I know dead, dead ducks don't lay eggs, but what about the widgeon, the pintails, right. the, 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 the bluebills? What about these other species? Why? Why, why is the hen mallard held on such a spot? I always assume it was just because they're easy to tell apart. You know, I don't know. But that you're right about the stigma. It, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's weird. It's just weird to me. If you go everywhere else, there's no, there's no hen stigma. Really? This is all in the United States since about mid-September. That's awesome. Yeah. And you do one every year? One every year. When I'm doing these road trips, I've yeah. got plenty of room to fill this up and still got the bottle. Uh-huh. If we run it, we got, we got plenty of nooks and crannies, trust me. Who made that for you? Uh, a, guy named, a guy named Bill Embacher in Connecticut. He saw, he, I was traveling with an old herder last year. He saw that and wanted to, wanted to make me one this year. And what we come up with was a black duck, and I decided I was going to use the marker for stippling. 
Yeah, you, it does look kind of look like stiff. Yeah, it does. On a black duck. So it's ready to go. Don't press, right? <laughs> Don't freaking press it. There we go, Todd. Great hunt this morning. Absolutely, man. Get some new ink, Wyoming. Heck yeah. There you go. Thank you, Ramsey. Yes, sir. Now I gotta get your cameraman to sign. <laughs> morning, everybody. We are day two, going to a different spot. And we're gonna go down and see if we can kill a goose this morning. Probably some ducks as well. But uh, you ready, Mr. Ramsey? I'm ready. Ready for ready. All right. So a little bit of a walk this morning, but most of you guys have seen this spot. We've hunting here quite a bit. We're gonna go down and see if we can do something right this morning. Whew. Let's go. Come on, Decoys are set, duck decoys and folders anyway. We gotta put out the rest of the full body goose and the duck and the goose shells right here and in this open grassy spot. And we're gonna be all set. Hi, I know, you're ready to go. <laughs> We do it. I think it hit the ground kind of hard. Oh, yeah. And would you? Perfect. Right. You kill out.
dead. Let me go. All right, so day two with Ramsey Russell. Yes, sir. Good shoots. Good shoot, great shoot, man. We talking about Dang, what, a, what an amazing hunt here in Wyoming. Yeah, that's been phenomenal. The birds work perfectly. Yeah. Uh, we did get some geese. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't get no better. Those than last that. couple groups were pretty. That's oh, the way geez. they did it. Mixed bag this morning. We got widgeon, uh, teal, mallards. You got two honkers. Two honkers, baby. Perfect. Perfect. This has been a great time. I am so glad that you reached out, had me on your podcast, came on mine. This has been a ball. You know what I enjoyed a lot about this morning was, both mornings was the taste. Sure. I know exactly what birds I shot. I know exactly what birds you shot. And there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of satisfaction. I think so. We got and we're done. You know, I mean, <laughs> nothing but the walk out with a heavy load. Yeah, right? and it's it's a little bit of a hike, but it ain't bad. But. That's all right. I, 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 it's something uh, fulfilling about feeling those birds bouncing on the shoulder, feeling <laughs> the weight and that leather creaking. Uh, I love it. Yeah. It's a great hunt, part of it. Absolutely. Hey, while we got you here, make sure you drop down, mash that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, let us know what else you want to see. And until next time, we'll see you in the field. Say what? You ain't no model, I hate to tell you. Am I trying to be? No. <laughs> he, he said you were.